All right, welcome to an unboxing. Not of that or of that, but of this. And um, I'm doing this on camera because in case I need to use this, hello, Amazon, if I need to prove that this arrived this way, here it is. We've got a massive, just gaping tear, three inches by two inches here, something stabbed in. We've got this crush there. I'm trying to do this without showing my address too well. Um, we turn this around. <laughs> ah! I don't know what hit this, but it looks like a car did. So that's a, that's a sort of negative thing. This side's perfect though. And the top also got like, just something hit hard and scratched it. Um, yeah, no, she's a mess. And according to this, we're supposed to undo it, flip it 180 degrees and lift it up. So let's, I, I think I'm just gonna cut the bottom open and pull it out. Hope for the best. The bottom looks fine also. A little bit damp, but it was sitting outside for a few hours probably. I didn't notice it. This, by the way, for anyone wondering, is something I bought. And I bought it because Curiosity, um, it didn't kill the cat. It's 2021. Curiosity doesn't give a fuck about cats. Um, Curiosity spent my money. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's got styrofoam fucking pellets. This is a Martin Logan Dynamo 400 subwoofer. Now, if anyone's been watching my channel for, it would have to be three or four years, the Dynamo 300 subwoofer, I think I've had that since, did I have it since I was doing reviews in the Bronx? I had it for a while, I had it for a while. And then I bought a second one, I think I bought three of them in total, because they dropped down to like a hundred bucks. They were like a hundred and thirty dollar subwoofer, that was amazing. And then I dropped for a hundred dollars, I bought another one, and I built the Doom Stack, the, the, the stands I use in the basement, holy fuck, for, yeah, this is a, this is a lost cause. There's no saving any of this. The doom stacks in the basement, I'm gonna to try to do this without dropping the subwoofer. I built out of a pair of those because they were so good I had to integrate them into stands so I could use them for every speaker, a pair of them. It was so good. And they I think they were that cheap because Martin Logan fucked up and the power supplies in the amplifiers was unreliable. And they're like, oh shit, we gotta drop the price. Because everything else that Martin Logan sells in the Dynamo line is expensive as fuck. It's exp it's super expensive. Oh, oh God. Oh. Ow, that bit me. And when I saw the Dynamo for a hundred bucks or 130 bucks, and try not to get this white shit off my house. I bought him and I bought him and I think I gave one away in a yard sale or not, it was probably pre-yard sale, it was probably a giveaway. And I installed a expensive version, a $700 sealed one at a friend's house. And it was moderately impressive, but I don't like sealed subwoofers that are like also tiny cube subwoofers. I haven't heard one that's like super impressed me. It's not like a Sunfire or anything. And then I, it disappeared. They've been gone for years. So the new, new Martin Logan Dymo, Dynamo 400 comes out. And I'm like, cool, it's the same basic size, the same basic design, it's an eight inch down firing with a port, it's $400. Which is a slight, moderate, slight moderate, slightly moderate increase from the, at most, I think they were $170 and added their cheapest 100 uh, Dynamo 300s. Now, if the Dynamo 300 existed, I would still be telling people to buy them. Because we had RCA ins and outs, we had uh, high level ins that you could just jump across. They were, it was tight, it was solid, it was musical, it was a great subwoofer. <sighs> and no one sent it to me. So therefore when this one came out, there was no one I could ask it for. So I asked my patrons to support me every week or month. And I took that money and this is where it went to find out if the 400 holds up. And it better do better than hold up because Last time I checked, I'm just throwing this away because the box is ruined anyway. The last time I checked, um, $400 was not $130. So this had better be twice the sub. I actually haven't looked over the complete specs to see what's changed. 
as far as power, I know that they've changed some of the design aspects. Please don't crack my fucking countertop. That would, that would not be worth an unboxing. It's one of the biggest fears because this is like sticking over. This I'll keep because I can just wrap a portal player in that and sell it in a yard sale. So what do we've got? I think the um, 300s is standard black wood grain. I think it is. You know, I don't know. I'm just going on how much I love that subwoofer. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't just a straight vinyl matte box, which is what this is with very sharp corners. And they're not like, it's not, it doesn't feel super nice. It's just like, holy fuck, don't let anything graze against this edge or it's gonna show like a cheap box wood. Um, actually, give me back this for a second. Let's rotate this. We've got the Martin Logan emblem here. Purely a black, I'll say this, since they went with the extremely sharp corners, it looks good. Usually black boxes are boring, like the Dayton ones, the rounded. This is fucking points. And all the light is reflecting hard on every fucking line. So I guess I can't knock it too much for that. Uh, all right, so we've now gone to a slot port instead of a hole. It was a, it was a circular port here and an offset driver. Now it looks like we also have an offset driver and a reverse rolled surround on the Martin Logan thing. So that's a nice heavy duty eight inch. Lots of exposed screws, perfectly fine. Slot port's better. The corner pieces are much higher. I guess for a better excursion, better dissipation onto the ground. What does the back look like? So, standard power in. Did the other ones have this? Yeah, the other ones have this as well. Low LFE in, only one set, no pass through. Points deducted. Um, power mode is auto or on, there's no off. In fact, there's no off. You, I think there was a big off switch here and then you had auto and on, or auto or off, auto and on. So now you've just got on and auto. So I would probably leave it in auto, the status LED. Zero to 180 degrees phase. Your uh, pass, which has, I think, similar knobs. I think the other ones had notches in. So you got 35 hertz to 120 hertz, and then up here is bypass, so there'll be no low pass filter. Your level's min to max. It's just a smooth knob, it's not like clicky. And then your speaker level inputs, left and right, are banana females. Interesting, because I've never seen strictly pure banana females on anything, actually. Like on anything, on anything ever. And we're manufactured in China to exacting standards, of course. And that's it, that's the entire tour of the unit. Not these edges are gonna get so fucked up. I may have to buy like edge protectors and put it all over the, one, two, three, four, five, six, I need to buy eight of them. Or oh, unless you do these two and then you need 12 of them. Yeah, no, I, I, the finish is not amazing. The look is good, but if you can, if it's gonna get damaged. So I'll set this up on live stream today and see how this makes the goes, but uh, it had better perform admirably for a $400 subwoofer because that's what I spent on it and it was like the last one on Amazon and if they don't come back, well, I guess I got an extra subwoofer. It's great. Anyway, that's it. Um, hi, Pasta. How you feeling? Is it, just, is it January? Is it February? When is this? I just downloaded a bunch of unboxings and she's got a bunch of unboxings. This might not be out till February. How's February 2022? Shit, was this pointed up all the way? Did I miss like the entirety of what I was filming? Ah, you'll see it in the review. My knife keeps getting put away. Anyway, good morning, everybody. It's 9.17. I just woke up to the sound of my doorbell ringing because I had to, there was a, the UPS, USPS lady, which was a different lady than my normal lady. And she was so apologetic that I had to come get the door. And she's like, I don't know, people don't usually sign for things, but they do sign for things when it's LCD fives. That's just the thing that's gonna happen. I know it's been like I told her like I haven't gotten a signature fucking thing in forever But uh, Apos was nice enough pasta Apos link Was nice enough to loan me loan me. This is one of the ones that's like like as a reviewer you send me something I'm like, I'm just probably keeping it right. It's like a $200 thing You don't want it back. It costs you $18 to make it but LCD fives from a retailer Yeah, we want that shit back so 
I get to spend some time with the LCD fives. I actually heard them, look at the nice lighting. This is some of that dramatic fucking movie lighting. I got, I got to play around with them at Capital Audio Fest a bit. And I am, they're gonna have to do some special shit to win me over because they were kind of like, meh, meh, like that's the sound. Meh, meh, eh. Yeah, okay, they're LCDs. They sound like expensive LCDs. I still maintained at that moment that LCD X is the best LCD. And then the, the threes are too sharp and the fours are too aggressive. So I did not do that. There's a smudge mark on there from factory. What's well, got the same case as the, uh, the same type of case as the, the Imperians with the slow close handle, only this one's in black and the same locking mechanisms. Only this is a chonky boy, the other one was a flat boy. Silica, do not eat. Oh, of course, oh, fuck yeah. I'm just gonna put these fucking white, I'm not putting white gloves on, fuck you. Um, another silica packet, do not eat. We'll throw it in each garbage pail so it's even. And the keys to this box. I love, now it's dramatic, because you guys can't see what's in there. <laughs> At least they do the wire correctly. It's not janky back and forth. Odyssey never really had problems with wires. High five, man, that's fucking fucked. A non-balanced cable. Aren't these like super hard to drive? Wasn't that like a thing? Or maybe I'm thinking of another high five, man, or, or yeah, Odyssey. So they give you a non-balanced Odyssey quarter inch, which sucks because I have the Griffin right here. The IFI Griffin, I was expecting a 4.4, I go boom. I go boom, and I, I'd have to go get a goddamn adapter. So this wire is gonna get used for the review and nothing else. Decent wire, a little bit stiff. It feels like vinyl. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm glad this is the style of wire they've included because like HG800 wires are giant piles of garbage dog shit. Big stiff. I mean, if you're gonna go like, like, I was just gonna make the motion, but if you're gonna go with like fabric, it's gotta be super soft and smooth. And the, the HG 800 wire has always been uh, a cord for a vacuum cleaner. And it just doesn't, it's not appealing to me. I don't know, that's German. Germans get happy from that shit, but not me. Anyway, so this is nice. It's nice, it's nice. Actually, the fact that it's not, it feels vinyl and slippery it's a benefit because it means you won't get caught in your clothing and it should be less, uh, what's it called? Seismic and vents. So we've got an Odyssey uh, user guide, which is just a piece of paper, to, a, um, a card that says, download your user guide from the website. Okay, that's great. That absolutely needs to be put in here because people don't know how the internet works. And here's a very fancy, little card holder, an individual card holder. You're like, oh, serial numbers, dates. Oh, actually, it, um, if you've watched this video and you somehow get a set of these in the future, because it's it's not 2022 yet, but it will be by the time this video comes out. The serial number of this is 5-1537. So tell me where that, it's like those dollar bills that you used to get, like where's George? And you're supposed to like, when, they, when, when the internet was first a thing, people would stamp money with like a where's George thing and you were supposed to go on there and type in where your serial number was, what your serial number was, of that like $10 bill or $5 bill. And if you did that, you would report where it was to see if the money traveled from, you know, New York to Pennsylvania to fucking California, where did the guy get on a plane and spend it in Alaska? It was a kind of a cool concept. I'm sure there's automatic money scanners now somewhere that just look at the serial numbers. And then they, they don't tell you, it's just for the government. So here is the thing. They're smaller than all the other LCDs. Like as far as physicality, they've adopted the Yaxi slash Diana pad design, which is, you know, it's, it's not a super huge pad. It's, it's a three, it's, it's a two knuckle at the bottom, but it's a nice wide three knuckle because it's so angled. Quality feeling pads, by the way, quality feeling. I will not deny the pads. And Odyssey has also, 
re-engineered the headband completely. Um, this is much nicer. Carbon fiber, single piece of carbon fiber here. Comfort strap, a little bit uh, narrower and thicker than their old ones. Big R, big L, the angle is built in. Um, we have limit stops both directions, so it's a 180 degree limit stop. The wire comes off the back like HG800, which is the only thing the HG800s do correctly as far as build, is these, these things, instead of being here, are like, whoop, and then it's here. So yeah, no, they're, they're very nice looking. And it's weird having an Odyssey head, 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 yeah, and it's too early for this, an Odyssey headphone that's so small and light for what it is. It's like you, you, you think about Odyssey and you think about like LCDX and LCD fucking C, XC, it's like, that's gonna break my fucking neck. That even? Yeah, it's, it's a luxurious feel. It is a luxurious feel. So now I gotta go get a hardware cable or a periapt cable or, let's see, who else would make one for this? How do you have a, there's Larry the Cable Guy and then, then, then there's this cable. Yeah, no, I'll find a cable for it. I know I don't believe the cable's gonna make the sound change unless you make the cable fucked. That's the only way you fuck, you change the sound of a headphone with a cable is if you get a fucked cable. All right, let's take a picture of this for the, for the plebeians. It's, it's, where's, where's their best angle? Should I put the white gloves next to it? Like, they were not like nice, nice white gloves. Anyway, I'm done. You all can uh, fuck right off. Go back to sleep. You go back to sleep. I'm go back. I'm not going back to sleep because carnations and some breakfast is getting delivered. I've been out for like a week and a half. And I'm, I'm itching for some chalky milk.